Studio with two band members from the band Lumo, uh, Josef and Leah. Tonight you played and it was fantastic. Um, but I think we also have to congratulate you because you went to the final rounds of the Hamburg Vision. Is that right? Uh, kind of unexpectedly. We we didn't want to win. You but didn't we, want to. But, but we won. We we went there just to to um, to play live. To yeah, yeah. For experience for experience and to give out our free CDs because we thought that the bands would bring fans because it's a contest. And you, at that point, didn't have any fans yet? We brought her boyfriend. <laughs> yes, yeah. that's all. <laughs> but it was the, the two points that uh, gave us the, the, uh, the final, to the ticket to the, to the finals. Excellent. His, uh, his, his vote, two oh. points. 
That's important, that's important, that's important. Well, congratulations about that. Um, hey, when I um, listen to you, um, you have a very eclectic sound, I would say, a lot of different styles, but you call yourself uh, freak folk. Why is that? Um, it's just, basically, it's a, it's for us a, a genre to, to have a freedom to, to do everything we want. That's, that's the freak the thing. part in it. Yeah, and... That's a freak part, yeah, and because uh, most of the bookers want to know what you play, it's not like, oh, we just play music and then we will be booked. So we, we give them a little orientation. I see. And do you then have one genre or do you play more? We, we want to play more, I guess, more. Yeah, and it's all about the combinations of multiple genres. And do you have them within one song? Do you have multiple things going on? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, that, that's what we try to do. We we, yeah. we try to to layer to layer the genres to play them at the same time with different instruments, basically. I see, that sounds very complicated and very complex. Was it maybe that that's as well the reason that you had such a hard time finding a drummer for your band? <laughs> kind of, yeah. <laughs> Most of the drummers wanted to play just just straight. Rock, I don't know, drummer. punk, rock, metal, maybe <laughs> that one. So as uh, some guy, we, we we casted one guy and he wanted to play German rock songs and we. <laughs> he didn't sing in German. <laughs> he just came to our rehearsal room and said, oh, let's play German rock songs. No, we don't play German rock songs.
exciting news. You have a new album coming out. Um, it is called The Vandal and the Siren, if I'm not mistaken. That's very exciting. But it sounds like it's two names. Is it also because there's different kind of styles on your album? Well, no. The, it's maybe... Be, Basically, it's the, the style that we have is the layering of the genres. Uh, I think it's, it's getting throughout, pulling through the album. We try to pull it off through the album. And, but we have this uh, contrasting, we are the yeah. contrast We are parts. the characters yeah. impersonating the vandal and the siren. And Hell, yeah. heaven, good, bad, light, yeah. shadows. Like on stage, we, yeah. we, the both of us are impersonating the contrast, so... And what contrast is this? You are the bad Joseph and you are the good Leah, or how is it? How, just, how do I see it? It's just really about contrast. Uh, the, the audience can put their own um, a definition into it. Yeah. it obviously, do. you look very pretty. You have your, your makeup and your, your decorations and your flowers and your costumes. Why do you do that? Why don't you just play music? Um, we, we want to do a show. That, that's the thing, that's the main reason, I think. We're just starting out yet, but I guess if, if the people maybe buy our CDs when when we have a CD, and they went to a show and we just play the stuff from the from the album, it's not uh, for me. It's not a fulfilling life experience. Uh, when I was young, I wanted to to see bands who make make a sh kind of a show who put me in a different kind of world. World, yeah, mm -hmm. like this. Mm -hmm. In uh, I don't know in any definition if it's uh, sad songs, hard songs. Crazy songs, whatever. It's it put me. It's put, puts me in a different world. Um, and how's that for you, Leah? Is that for you too? Yeah, yeah, I agree definitely. And it's also that um, any of the band members is not just a musician, but contributes with art as well, and is like yeah, an artist in any way. So anyone can bring in stuff and ideas. So it can be also acting parts or something we have many ideas for the show and to make it interesting for us and for the people who watch us. Oh, that's very interesting and I've also heard that you'd rather call yourself a music collective rather than a band. Is that true? Yeah, kind of. Uh, just for the purpose that we can get um, musicians on, on t onto the stage when we are on stage. Oh, that's, that's very handy. Yeah, <laughs> so sometimes we, do, we have this one guy who he plays yeah, it seems to work. Cello, <laughs> cello. Maybe he will. Yeah. And uh, we have, I have one guy who's, who's rapping. Maybe we will make a gig with him. And what do you hope for the future? Obviously, you hope to win the Hamburg Vision. When, when are the finals? <laughs> um, um, 1st of May? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. At Fond Bureau. Okay, so we should all come and vote for you. How does it, how does it of work? Course. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> of course. But before that, your new album is coming out. When can we expect it? Soon? The uh, 27th of yes. February. I see. Yeah. So the first step is getting your album out, having people donate yeah. it and buying it, and then winning the Hamburg Vision. Yeah. And after that, world domination? No, just playing live. I'm very happy that we could talk to you today and um, that you played today. It was very beautiful and I'm sure you'll have a lot of luck with the Hamburg Vision. You'll win it for sure. Yeah. And I think uh, world domination is definitely going to happen. Makes sense. <laughs> sounds, wow, sounds good. Thank you very much and see you later. Thank you very much.